this weekend, I know a ton of people here in Los Angeles who wanted to see LeBron and Kyrie Irving when they were in town. Clipper fans came out and didn't see either of them out there. Where do you stand on this subject of resting players out of the blue, Charles? Well, listen, I've been in the NBA for 30 years, and all of a sudden now with better shoes, uh, private jets, uh, all this stuff they got, now all of a sudden they worried about getting hurt. Uh, I think it's a joke. Guys who make, especially when you're screwing your TV partners, uh, just for the record, we're the reason they make ten, twenty, thirty million dollars TV. Not, uh, no disrespect to the fans, but the reason players make ten, twenty, thirty million dollars uh, is because of the TV partners, ESPN and us at Turner. And all of a sudden, I, I, I don't know where this thing come from, where they got the rest, and you got all these idiots on television talking. About, well, we have stats that show. If you play back-to-back, I'm like, yo, man, Bill Russell played in Converse. He had a long career. Tim Duncan, the greatest power forward ever, played 20 years, basically. And he went to college for four years. Uh, You look at uh, Michael, went to college for uh, three years. He never got hurt. Man, these guys, just go. they just care about money nowadays. But what I think needs to happen, I think the fans need to boycott games, and boycott television to send these guys a message because people always understand money. And I'm really sick of all these punk ass reporters. And that's all they are. They kissing up to these young generation telling well, these guys need rest. Well, first of all, we've always needed rest, but when you're making millions of dollars to dribble a basketball and listen, like I say, I'm actually, I'm so old. I flew coach and played back to back games. <laughs> These guys are flying private, getting a great night's sleep, getting a great meal, and they're making twenty, thirty million dollars, and they can't play a couple basketball games. This is ridiculous, man. And let's just say, I hope at some point the fans all get together and say, you know what we're gonna do? We're all gonna, we're not gonna go to any games for a week, and we're not gonna watch any games uh, on television for a week. I think if the fans hit back. It'll be great. Now, is it the players, though, Charles, saying, like, for instance, just this weekend, LeBron and Kyrie saying, I, I, need, a, I need a break? Or it's, it's somebody in the Cavs organization that's crunched the numbers and REM state and rum sleep and all that sort of thing saying that they have a better chance of going deeper into the playoffs if they get occasional rest to some of these guys and these guys are sat. I mean, what it, well, what all, is it? It don't matter. It don't matter. It doesn't matter who's crunching the numbers. You can always crunch the numbers. I just gave you some numbers. Did Michael Jordan miss games? Did Larry Bird, Matty Jones, did those guys rest and miss games? I think they all played in college longer, number one, but also played double-digit years in the NBA. So while all of a sudden when they start making money, they want to extend their career because they want to make more money. Call it what it is, man. Don't give these little fools no alibis. <laughs> Come on. I played in the NBA for 16 years. I, I, when, how many times, hey, Coach, I need to rest? That, this is all new, and it's only because their agents want to extend their career because there's so much money out there. But the, point, uh, uh, the other point is you keep screwing your TV partners. Why should we uh, keep giving y'all all that money if y'all going to rest half the time? The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.